Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and today we will be unboxing P. Louise June box. <laughs> this is their budget box. It costs uh, £30 per one box and what do they say? Introducing the official budget box, the most cost-effective way into your P. Louise journey. Enclosed in this box you will uncover P. Louise pampering pick me ups and chosen by our CEO herself to slip straight into your makeup routine, including full-size products for you to trial and test because, babe, your verdict is our priority. With added exclusive products, we can guarantee added newness to your kit. Whether there's been new products or brand new formulated shades, steer the strip and discover your new favorite products. The box is beautiful. I really like their design. And by the way, we have unboxed P. Louise Easter egg. And I actually have it on my background because it is so beautiful that I couldn't get rid of it and here is the box this is quite heavy it is very heavy actually and um, let me share with you a little bit of my experience with Bill Louise because uh, it took a month and a half for this box to come to me because I have ordered this box during the first days of June something like on the 1st June or on the 2nd June and on their website they have this phrase that you will receive the box you have purchased in that month However, all budget boxes will be processed through our warehouse on the last day of the month and could take up, up to one week to dispatch. Please see delivery FAQs for more info. I couldn't imagine in my wildest dreams that um, the box which I ordered on the 2nd of June will be dispatched on the 30th of June. And yeah, I contacted support and they were very unfriendly with me. They told me like, can't you read the website? It is still there. But the first phrase says that you will receive the box you have purchased in that month. What does it mean? And then <laughs> all budget boxes will be processed through our house on the last day of the month. All right. It was dispatched finally on the 30th of June. And uh, I received it on the 14th. Of July so it took them more than two weeks to deliver my box and uh, I couldn't find information on the website of how long would it take to deliver my box and I started contacting support and support just ignored my first message and the second message they answered when the box was delivered so they waited for a couple of days and then they answered like uh, don't you track your order? It was already delivered. And I live in an area where some of the boxes, uh, some of the parcels, they come t not t directly to my doorstep, but um, to a post office. So, yeah, I didn't know that it was delivered. And when I <laughs> went to the post office, there is a, a handsome old man working there. And uh, there are a lot of uh, letters on the box, something like The only way is up from here, babe. And this um, old man was like, is this addressed to me? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it was very funny, but yeah, the box is very pretty, so that's why he was so interested. It is the hottest day in the UK. We experienced a full-blown heat wave. Of course, I don't have an air conditioner, so if I'm red, and sweaty i'm sorry i'm wearing a ton of powder on my face not to shine like a diamond or like a greasy pancake so the box of course uh, we will try to calculate the final value of the box and uh, i will tell you if it was worth it or not let's start unboxing it it is heavy <laughs> Da -da -da! It's been a while since we did some boxing, so I'm very excited. Here I have this sticker was attached to this paper, and what do they say? Welcome to the month by P. Budget box by P. Louise, an inclusive first look into our beauty in the breakup collection. Oh! We have quite a few products. Should I show it to you? Should I show it to you? We have uh, done an unboxing of P. Louise Easter Egg and there we found uh, liquid 
creamy eyeshadow which I'm wearing today. I will link this video in the description box for you to see because it was so pretty and beautiful and exciting. Oh, this box is a little bit damaged, but this is Blend Away the Bad Wipes 5 Makeup Sponges P. Louise. The soak is on you. I like the idea behind it. And let's. Hey, cutie pie, where are you going? Those are our makeup sponges. They're so cute. I already feel that the material is very nice and of high quality. Do they say something else? Uh, Wet before use for a seamless application. Now you're gone. You'll never sponge off me again. Blend away the bed wipes. Five makeup sponges. They don't say which makeup sponges they are. <laughs> and I'm very excited about those tiny ones. I've never had those tiny sponges. Like, what is it? What is it? Let's have a look at, on their website because I'm very curious about which um, products, which sponges do we have? Their website is not working. What is going on? The next thing. I think now I know why this box was so heavy. Because of this thing. This is Sin Softener. Soaking away the sins of you. Feeling clean, babe. Your exists overdue. No harmful extracts. Scent of the sweet smell of getting over it. Bubble bath. Oh, last three times longer than your... That's cool. Unfortunately, I don't have bathtub, so I won't really be able to use it, but maybe one day. <laughs> the packaging is so beautiful, and uh, we have plastic something here to make sure that it won't leak and damage all other products, which I definitely like. Let's have a sniff. Oops. The scent is nice and doesn't have a sweet scent, it doesn't smell like flowers or, I don't know, fruits. It doesn't really tell you which scent is this. And the packaging looks like a softener for a washing machine. At first I thought that it was a softener for a washing machine, so I will try not to be confused. Oh! Oh! The page now is working! Let's check about our uh, sponges. Mm -hmm. I can't really find them on their website. What is going on? That's very weird because I can't find makeup sponges on their website. All right, that's fine. The next thing which we will open today is huge but very lightweight. This is the P. Louise Extractor. Extract those bad vibes and erase your ex. It's time to move on, make it melt. Makeup melter. Oh, easily dissolve the state of sore love scum. Beauty in the breakup. This is so cool. So, excuse me. The amount of packaging here is confusing. This is a little bit crazy and it has more packaging here. How do I open it? It has a little spatula inside and yes, something is clearly wrong here. Maybe it melted on the sun because I'm literally all in this makeup remover. Oh, it has a sweet, very nice scent. But I'm not sure if I'm happy about this product because the outer packaging and the real <laughs> Product is very different. I am confused. Why do we have this gorgeous packaging and this tiny little product? Because I would be happy to receive my cleansing balm in this size rather than in this size because I need quite a lot and this jar won't last long for me. We have three more products. What should we do? Let it be this one. This is P. Louise, page your feelings, meet your page, under eye brightening patches, brighten your under eye area, hides the heartbreak, revitalizes and rejuvenates. A uh, wound won't heal unless you leave it alone. Again, we have just crazy amount of plastic packaging here. I love uh, their topic that heartbreak will, will heal your heart, heartbreak. X. I think this is something trendy and oh, oh no, it fills off with my packaging. No. 
here we have five eye patches. They have pillowies text here, and that's all. This feels nice, but so far we haven't received any makeup. We received two makeup sponges, which is cool, but where is makeup? We have two more products. Let's discuss this one. Hydrate the Heartbreak Hydrating Primer. Finally, makeup! Yay! Rich plumping and protection is what your skin deserves. Prime your way to happiness and take what you have earned. Uh, with every lie you ran me dry, now that things are set straight, it's time for me to hydrate. This is cool. This is how she looks like. Finally, makeup. It has a bump. It doesn't have a scent, at least I don't smell it, and it feels like a lightweight moisturizer. It is not sticky, and yeah, I think that it will be a very good and nice primer. And our last product, let's pray that it will be something makeup related. This is Pilis, out of time for you, Block O'Clock Pore Perfecting Primer two primers all right tick tock it's time to vlog give you way too many chances it can't be a shock no hard feelings babe i just block and blur so this is blurring primer it has a pump we basically received two primers out of time for you for correcting primer it has a light yellow texture this primer is thicker than the previous one i'm not quite sure that it will affect our pores but maybe this primer also feels nice and i will be very interested to try this and see how it performs let me have a look again at everything what we received i will calculate the prices on their website and see if it was worth it or not. A few moments later. I have calculated um, the final value of the box and what do we have here. This bath foam costs 10 pounds. Makeup melting balm costs 12 pounds. Eye patches cost 7 pounds. Primers are extremely expensive. One primer costs 18 pounds, so together they cost 36 pounds. And our makeup sponges, I actually have no idea. Hey, where are you going? I actually have no idea how much do they cost. I made a wild guess and a wild Google search and decided that they cost 15 pounds. Altogether, those products cost uh, 80 pounds, which is crazy. And I paid for this box 30 pounds and the shipping, but it doesn't matter. And we won 50 pounds. But do I like this box? I don't know, because uh, I have uh, read again the description of this box on their website and they don't say directly that it will contain only makeup products, but they say that enclosed in this box you will uncover pillowies, pampering, pick-me-ups, hand chosen by our CEO herself to slip straight into your makeup routine. Not skincare routine, not bath top routine, but makeup routine. So when I think about pillowies, of course, I think about their eyeshadow bases, their makeup, uh, fantastic eyeshadow palettes. But <laughs> I don't know. I will be honest with you and I didn't like the contents of this box. I like P. Louise, I like their makeup and my opinion has nothing to do with the quality of the products but I don't have a bathtub and it looks like a, I don't know, washing machine conditioner so for me this is confusing. Makeup remover I have checked on their website. They show the picture of the packaging and they show the picture of for the real size of the product which we will be getting so it's fine but again i am disappointed with the amount of this product i would prefer a uh, cleansing balm to be in a bigger pod our blending sponges i actually really like them we never <laughs> can have uh, enough sponges so i'm very excited about this product and uh, primers i don't think that we need two primers 
in one box. Like, I would be extremely happy to receive one of the primers, but two primers, I don't really need so many primers. And that was all. No more makeup, no more, I don't know, eyeshadows or lip product or something else. And I feel a little bit disappointed because, of course, I would prefer to receive some makeup products. I complained in our Easter egg unboxing videos that we received, uh, uh, I don't know, boring makeup products. Forget it. That egg was awesome. This box, I don't know. I wish they put more makeup products. So, it was all from me for today. Please let me know what are your thoughts. Have you tried P. Louise makeup? Have you ordered their budget box, what are your thoughts about their budget boxes, what are your thoughts about the products which we found here. Please be safe, take care, honestly care about you so 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 much and see you in my next videos. Bye!